Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to our uh, Wednesday webinar for uh, Church Windows. Uh, topic is going to be our pictorial directory, adding pictures to include on the directory, and we're going to show you a couple of the pre-formatted pictorial directories that we have in Church Windows. Maybe a few other things, too, if time warrants. We're going to work together for about the next 20 minutes or so. We thank you for attending in advance. If you need, you know, if you came, you know, see what you came to see and you need to leave, by all means hit the X in the upper right of your webinar control panel um, to leave the webinar. We hope to see you at another future webinar event if you do. Um, it's just me today. I will do my best to try to keep an eye on questions. Uh, uh, and but if not, I may be able to. I may have to hold off and answer some of those questions after we get after I get done discussing the topic at hand. Um, so we're going to go ahead and get started. Hopefully, everybody had a chance to um, see the uh, little bit of the webinar presentation or the movie presentation about how the webinar control panel works when you logged in. Um, if you're unsure, please let me know. I'll see what I can't do to answer that. Um, so the new reporting in membership has kind of thrown some folks for a loop here with regards to that and certainly with regards to the directory. Um, but we don't have a video presentation of how the actual pictures are assigned and subsequently some of the couple of new formats in the uh, new version that include those, those pictures. So here we are. We're gonna, I'm going to introduce my highlighter friend here. We've got version 17.14.4. Hopefully everybody should be able to see that okay. Hopefully everybody can hear me coming through. It looks like my audio is coming through. Um, let me know if you are having problems with that, but it should be coming through loud and clear. So to assign photographs to people, there are definitely some things we have to discuss around that. Um, when we go into membership and say members, because visitors it's dealt with exactly the same way. Um, we see the little camera icon right up here at the top. Again, I'm trying to draw a poorly drawn arrow up there that shows where and how that photograph we access that picture option. Okay. So here we look, we have our name person highlighted on the left labeled Bob Jones. The icon looks like a camera. That tells us that when we click on that after highlighting his name, that there is no picture on file. So right here it would show up here on the right side if indeed there was a picture for Bob or for his family that was assigned here. Okay. When we go down to other family members now to notice Renee, that little camera icon at the top now changes to a picture. That tells us that there is a picture present on the individual record in this case that we've chosen Renee on the left okay so like the other icons at the top that little camera icon will tell you whether a picture is present for someone or not if it's a camera there is no picture present if it's a little portrait icon there is we recommend that if you have a family picture that you assign it to the primary in the household. So the, in this case, really the picture should be assigned to Bob here since his directory report order is set to primary. Technically it doesn't matter, but um, we just recommend if you've got a family picture as opposed to individual pictures, try to assign it to the primary, either the primary or the secondary in the household. You don't need it to assign it to everyone. Yes, assign pictures to individuals if you have them. We can only at this time assign a picture to one, one picture to one person at a time in the current version. That may change in a future version for church windows, but at this time, that is what we're left with. Okay, right now is what we have is one photo can be assigned to one person in the database now. So, how do we assign the pictures once we have them? You know, whether you get it from, you know, LifeTouch or another, ex, you know, professional company or somebody comes in and takes pictures. Once you have access to those, we're going to find somebody here that we can assign a picture to. So right here, we've gone to our most recently added household in the database with James Kildare. Right here, 
right at the top. He's the only person in this household. So right up here we clearly see that his icon is the little camera so that tells us that when we click on that we are not going to find that there is no picture on file. Let me again steer some focus here. No picture on file. And what we're going to do is go right up here to the upper right corner and click on the button labeled Browse for Pictures. Okay. When we click on that, we now then need to steer our focus over to the left hand side to the section now labeled, the new window that's open labeled Browse for Pictures. The really the part that folks overlook or that it's easily overlooked is right down here at the bottom where it says select drive. Down in this list down here is where we would see all of our drives that are available to us on our computer. So notice here it's looking for C, but if I click the down arrow, you know, here's all of my available drives that I have available on my computer. Okay, and if you have a removable format or what have you, those jump drives will show up too. Okay? Any drive that's available on the computer will be displayed in this list. We have saved our pictures to the local C drive. You don't have to do that. If I had a thumb drive available, it would show up here under, you know, removable disk F or something. Okay? C is my hard drive, D is my CD-ROM drive, then I have available other drives here available that are available for church windows. But here now, we're, we've saved our pictures to our users to, in this case, the one labeled Kellyanne, and then right here under Pictures, and we have one folder here called CWPix. So when I click on that, and I expand that now to the right, all of the picture files that I have available in this folder are available right here. Okay. Church Windows supports a variety of file formats for photos, honestly. So these are just PCX, but you know it will you know it'll read JPEGs, it'll re read bitmaps. It, you can import anything. Okay. But simply notice now, once we begin clicking on these PCX files, we begin to see the photographs. So I did some investigating in here, and I'm determined that this is our picture of James. So now I've clicked on the appropriate file name that contains the picture that I'm wanting. And then this is, again, a very commonly overlooked step is I have to click the button labeled right here, Add to Record. Okay. So once I click on that, It's now added it to his record, and I can now close out of my browse for pictures, and I can then move on to the next person that I need to assign a picture to. So again, I would just move to the next record, click on my little camera icon at the top, choose browse for pictures to the right, Browse to the locations after, you know, perhaps selecting the drive where those are. Notice it remembered my last location. So now I can just simply scroll down the list, you know, until I find the picture that I'm wanting for, um, for Linda. Uh, and then again, you must click the Add to Record button right up here above your um, brightness, contrast, and zoom. So that warrants the next, you know, sort of thing we need to discuss here is that well, at least mention. I'm not sure there's any really discussion about it. You know, Church Windows does allow you to change some, you know, my, some features like brightness, contrast, and zoom in on it, but Church Windows does not contain any photo editing capability. So if, if there's any editing of your photographs, resizing, what have, have you, that has to be done, that needs to be done or should be done before you save the picture to the record in Church Windows. Okay? Church Windows does not have any photo editing software or capability. Um, Ann is asking, is there a maximum size for the photo? As far as I'm aware, Ann, no. There might be an optimum size for it. Um, you know, I think somewhere, I think less than 500 kilobytes or less than 1,000 or one, 1 megabyte, essentially, I think. Um, but, you know, definitely you would want to make sure they're not too large. If they're too big, then basically you only see a portion of the picture here, 
I mean, I don't think it would probably really have any problem. It might distort it if the image was too big because Church Windows does have a limited amount of space to uh, fit that into on the actual directory itself. Um, <clears throat> yes, the picture does get sized to fit into the directory spot, as we'll see here. But these are actually quite reasonably sized. These are very small. Again, we click Add to Record and Close. Okay. All right, so once we've assigned the photos to the actual individual records themselves, then we can begin looking and expecting to see them on some of our directories, or at least the, um, yeah, the question I've been asked is you don't have to hit the Save button. That's correct. Um, once you click the Add to Record button, the sa it saves it to the record for you automatically. There is no save option. Yeah, no save required. So now once we have our pictures assigned, we can then now go to you know membership and reports or close out and go to reports and reports directory export. The you know this is sort of a little bit of a deviation off topic here a little bit, but it is important of course that in order for anyone to appear on our directory, they have to have the include on directory field here set to yes and they must have the appropriate directory report order code. Okay, So if either of those fields are improperly set up, definitely if include on directory is set to no, they won't show. But it's possible that it could be confused if we don't have the proper directory report order code as well. Okay, So just an FYI, directory, those two fields are critical as to whether an individual shows on our directory or not, as the case may be. Once our, direct, our, our codes are entered properly, our photos are assigned, we can now go to our directory, our report. This does this. I'm sorry, folks. Let me exit out of membership and relaunch it again. I wanted to get some control over that screen. We click on Reports, Reports Directory Export. Oh, it's still not there. Oh, well. Okay, so this is our where we would enter criteria for who we want to appear on our directory. Well, if directory report order code and include on directory are required, that may be all we need. Maybe the only thing we need to worry about is whether we're including those that are in our both our members and our visitors database. Okay. Um, if we don't want to include visitors, it could be as simple as just unchecking visitors. You might want to do select a membership field as under like status, choosing those with active members. But as, if we click next here now, it does the gathering data thing here. The thing I like to point out here is right here where it says directories using spouse, parents, children's fields require include on directory and directory report order to be filled out correctly. So again, the directory looks at the include on directory and directory report order fields for information as to who should be appearing on our directory. So that is why generally at the previous window we may or may not need to enter other additional information. If include on directory is set to yes and directory report order is correct, the system says knows that you want to have them show on the directory. Again, the only separation might be whether they're in members or visitors. So here now, at our selections for membership report, we do choose the directory option. And then right below that, we have our list that shows our variety of directory options and formats that we have. So Church Windows has a couple of pre-formatted directories in here, one called Simple Picture Directory and one called Horizontal Picture Directory. We're going to take a brief look at both. So let's choose the horizontal picture directory. I can add other directory options here in the upper right, but if we don't and I simply click print, this is what our horizontal picture directory looks like. So it shows, you know, phone name, phone number, address, and then a picture to the right. And as we scroll down, we can clearly see that other people will have that, including uh, Joyce uh, and Linda and uh, well, why didn't James Kildare save? Let's 
let's try doing some quick let's make sure that it did actually show up for him it does all right so we need to do some quick maintenance here uh, we're gonna close out a membership and we're gonna do a quick um, under admin support functions we're gonna do a quick repair and compact here just to clean up our membership database it's not adding up as to why James is not appearing on our directory so the it was it was clearly assigned to his record we still need that database maintenance function to run a cleanup function as part of the members membership the membership database that still uses access so we're gonna go right back to our membership and reports reports directory export Eh, we're gonna leave visitors on this time it might add some length to it again we're gonna choose directory here's our horizontal picture directory well folks I don't understand why James isn't showing up there maybe I got him in a wrong spot or something maybe I've got the wrong record uh, maybe I didn't check the include on directory or directory report order there's got to be a reason as to why this isn't showing up and we simply need to figure out what it is so let's try going back in there again and let's go to members and let's see if we can figure out um, why James isn't showing up ah uh, yes so right here we clearly see I didn't follow my own advice include on directory is not populated so we need to populate that with a yes in order for him to I think show up properly on the directory now a save is required let's go to reports this way this may be a record where we've got duplicates in here there he is alright so there we've got him we actually have two James Kildares in the database so the one that I was using to assign the picture was not assigned the proper information so there's an example of how if the data isn't supporting what we're wanting correctly it's not going to do what we want our other option under there was our our, uh, our simple picture directory so if we click that and click print it's just a different format of the directory it just shows our pictures on the left doesn't have those nice little graphics that the lines and separators but it does show again names phone numbers and addresses and as we continue down the left um, we see those those photos showing up of course you can add the director the picture to either a custom directory or to one of our existing formats if you wish now you have to again be careful because of the sizing of the photographs how much how much space they take up but if we say take a you know classic uh, multi-column directory and I click edit I can then you know over here on the right side under membership field I can pick that up and drag that over here say and it pops up with my membership field selector so here I have to scroll down and click my personal information fields and as we scroll down I clearly see a specific one called picture individual and I click OK and then it says picture for selected and once I click on preview there I've just basically taken one of my already pre-formatted multi-column directories and in this case a two column and added the picture to it yes there might you know this may not be ideal but you can absolutely take one of the existing formats that are not pictorial directories and add that picture to it if you wish or custom it's that easy you know I can then toggle back to my designer manipulate it further and only save it in the upper left you know um, when I'm ready so if I call this with photo and click OK I've now saved that with my now um, photo direct with my now photographs added to that okay so we're about almost exactly at 20 minutes folks um, I hope it's been helpful I'm done finished talking what I've discussing here 
Um, if you have to leave, by all means, thank you. Um, the, uh, you know, if you have to leave, by all means, thank you so much. Please use the file menu and exit leave webinar. Uh, I, by all means, though, I'm happy to take questions. Okay, I'm seeing here we want a half-page booklet. Can we do that? Uh, I'm pretty sure we do have a booklet-style directory right here, directory for booklet printing. And sure, again, as far as I'm aware, Anna, you can go to your edit. Um, now, again, generally the booklet style, the challenges that come with that are, you know, page one printing opposite page 18. Um, that can be done, but sure, you can go over here, you know, maybe expand our detail section here, pick up our membership field, add the, again, the, the membership field, expanding it, drilling down to... Um, the photo, picture, individual, clicking OK. Doesn't even look like maybe we need that. But then toggle to your preview button. And here's our booklet style directory with picture. You bet. Um, if you have more questions about that, please call support, 1-800-533-5227. We do have uh, 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 technicians who are very, very good at working with the directory and these custom report options. You're most welcome, of course. All right, I'm just kind of waiting to see if anybody's typing in some questions to uh, to me. Sometimes those take a few minutes, a few seconds to type in. So, sure, if I don't don't like the preview option, I can go back to my designer. You know, I can choose my address block here, maybe shrink that up a little bit, maybe move my picture over so maybe it's a little more centered. The nice thing about the director, you know, with these options under this report designer is we don't want to see any pink or magenta because that's implying we've got an overlapping field. So eh, I guess it helped a little bit. Um, I'm being asked... Uh, is this on archive that I can go over it at my own pace? Yeah, eventually this will be... Uh, this movie will be probably most likely be made available on our blog page or at our new version resources page at our website. Unfortunately, folks, I can't say exactly when. Um, I, the you know we'll try to get it produced as quickly as we can, but then you know our webmaster has to get it uploaded and and made available through a link on our website. It could be a couple few weeks before this is available, but by all means, please keep keep checking that page. Uh, I'm being asked, you just wanted to ask, can we make a directory with pictures and name only? Absolutely, Lori. You can use, you know, you can either edit one of the existing directory formats if we wish, or you could go right up to custom and create um, a custom one that just includes, you know, name and picture. That's it. You're most welcome, of course. Yeah, and again, folks, we've got folks, we've got technicians here that are really, really good at working with the directory and these custom report options. By all means, please call support. We're happy to walk through it. Um, generally, in this case, something like with just name and uh, name and picture only, it would be a very simple report for us to include for that, Lori, by all means. And yes, we, if you call technical support, we can help you, ha help you walk through uh, assigning photographs. I mean, there's probably something in your church windows help files about assigning pictures to folks too that's been a feature in the program that hasn't changed for you know decades so that may change in a future version but assigning them and you know pe uh, pictures to people is is no different than it was you know 15 years ago um, so it's most likely in your help files you're most welcome all right folks i'm not seeing any other questions coming in it's about 25 minutes after the hour Thank you so much. We hope it's been helpful, and we hope to see you all at another future Church Windows user group webinar. All right. Thank you all. Take care. Enjoy the rest of your day. Bye-bye.